CLB and I am back again with another review from Trader Joe's. This is a yummy, cool summertime um, item that they've just come out with and I was super excited to try it. Oddly, I'm surprised I was pretty super excited to try it just because it's not normally my flavor. It's not normally what I go for per se, but I was like, you know what? <laughs> I am the queen of trying things. I have to try it out. So I went down to Trader Joe's and I grabbed one of their new lemons make ice cream um, with shortbread cookies ice cream that they have. So this is it here. I'm sure you guys probably saw it, especially if you follow them on Instagram. They have uh a lot of the new things that they're coming out with so these are lemons with well lemon ice cream with a lemon swirl and shortbread cookies so I was like oh that's exciting they have cookies inside of it this must be at least tasty and what I was hoping that it would taste like just so you guys have an idea in case people are thinking the same way I'm thinking I was hoping that it tastes um, more lemon like in the sense of the lemon pound cake from Starbucks, right? Yeah, I think that has like a, a a little bit of a limit in it. Or even if it's not Starbucks, just when you get the regular pound cakes and it has that uh, hint of lemon and then it has like kind of like that vanilla icing on top, that's what I was hoping that these would taste similar to. And I was expecting that only because it also has shortbread cookies in it. So I was like, okay, if it has cookies, maybe the shortbread tastes more like the pound cake. And then the lemon will give off that like lemon zest of a pound cake. And then maybe there is a little bit of vanilla base inside of here somewhere. Because usually that's what it is when you make some sort of ice cream. There is the flavor, but sometimes they'll put a little vanilla in there. So that's what my expectations were. When I initially tried it I was like oh wait a minute wait a minute this is not <laughs> this is not what I thought I was tasting so I'm gonna show y'all I literally have had this probably like two three weeks now and typically I'm not an ice cream eater per se but as y'all can see I've literally eaten one big like bite of it and I was just like, this is not for me, okay? So, the reason why, okay, let me taste test it for you guys again. Because that's literally, as you can see, all that I've eaten and it's just been sitting in the freezer. And I'm going to tell you exactly why it's not for me. But I just want y'all to know that I actually tried this so y'all know that I ain't just selling y'all nothing. So, you might see that there's like little lemon bits. Let's see, you could probably... See, there's probably little lemon bits in there, the swirl, and then there's um, little bits of the cookie inside of there, too. So, so I'm not a person that likes sour, tart stuff like that. The most tart thing that I could handle every now and again is like a pickle but when it comes to things that's supposed to be sweet but it's also tart that's usually not my thing and that's more so why I was a little disappointed with this because for me that's not my thing now the swirl is like a jelly kind of like when you get a a donut and you know how there's like a little jelly uh filling inside the swirls like a jelly just so you know so that is lemon and tart and then the ice cream itself like if you're eating let me see if you just eat the ice cream without getting a little swirl and you just eat the ice cream with the cookie okay you get more of a lemon a creamy lemon versus a tart uh just sweet lemon so it's more of a creamy lemon when you eat it with the cookie i think for me what throws it off is the swirl because the swirl is like more jelly like and that's what brings out the tart inside of it and i think 
if it did not have the swirl in it, I could tolerate it more. But for anybody out there that loves sweet and tart, tangy, whatever, this is for you. And that's why this isn't for me. Um, but I have a surprise for you guys. I don't like to waste things if I could help it. Sometimes I just be like, this is not going to work for me. So what I'm going to do in this video for you, I'm going to take this ice cream and I have this strawberry Bailey's sort of liquor. And I didn't like the strawberries liquor either. I thought that it didn't taste like strawberries as much as it should have. And you know how there's things that's supposed to taste like something, but it doesn't. And I don't really want to waste that either. So, the treat that I'm going to have for y'all in this video, so keep watching, is that I'm going to take this lemon shortbread ice cream, and I'm going to mix it with the strawberry liquor. And then I thought about if I add in a little bit of vanilla to kind of get it to be more um, subtle between the two, then I might end up liking that. So let's check out my reaction, trying it this way, and let's see how I make it. And I will definitely let y'all know if I like it or not. Check it out. Okay, y'all, so this is the part of where I'm gonna make the surprise drink because I am not about trying to waste things if I can help it. So I'm going to make the drink with um, the, the kind of Baileys that I was telling y'all that I had, right? So this is not Baileys, it's obviously uh, Conley's, but I have this and I didn't end up loving it. I got this from Aldi, just in case you are interested and you want to try it yourself. Um, and then there's the lemon ice cream, right? So we're going to put this inside of the Ninja and <laughs> we're going to try to see what we can do. Like... I mean, I can only imagine strawberry and um, a lemon with like the little uh, cake bits. So as I told y'all, this is the uh, ice cream. And I'm gonna put like another decent scoop in here. And again, this is me experimenting. I cannot guarantee y'all that this is gonna come out good. So we got this much inside of there. But it's, it's worth the try. It's worth the try, so I'm not wasting anything. And this is mine, so I ain't gotta worry about it. There's just me. Now, this tastes all right. It just has kind of like that artificial taste that I don't love. And yes, I'm pouring a generous amount. I put that much in there. I don't know, I may pour more. And then I do have this Stevia Vanilla flavoring if you have vanilla flavoring you can just use that but I kind of like the way this one tastes because the real vanilla flavoring that I have is a vanilla bourbon and I don't know I'm only putting like three drops y'all because vanilla stevia if you haven't tried it is very strong um in flavor like you don't need much so <laughs> y'all let's go on ahead and blend this up we about this milkshake but I'm like there's no way that strawberry and um and lemon can't be good together right if they're both not that great then something has to be good so I'm gonna use the little scooper yes because again no one's drinking this guys just me so I want you to be like oh you're drinking and eating off the same stuff yes because I'm the only one let's see So the Baileys is strong, <laughs> just so y'all know. So the Baileys is strong. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, or the Conleys, right? I don't want to mistake it. The Conleys is strong. And it's kind of a thick consistency. Let me show y'all. See, so it looked like um, ice cream. I would say probably add a little like liquid in here to make it loose but not to add more liquor because that Conley's is 
whoo, intense already. Um, it's good. It's good. It tastes like a, um, tastes like spiked ice cream. <laughs> Obviously, you can make it looser if you probably add, like, another carried liquid in it. Like, I don't know. If you add, like, a little milk or something like that to loosen it. Um, but, baby. All right. I'll eat it like this. I'll eat it like this. See? I told y'all. This is not my first time trying things. <laughs> to compensate for the nasty. <laughs> So if y'all have this and y'all got an Aldi, go and get one of those. Get one of these. You might like how it tastes by itself. I just didn't love how it tasted. I was going to pour it out. Get one of these. <laughs> go to Trader Joe's, get their new ice cream. I got Stevia vanilla, but get whatever vanilla you want to get. And you'll have yourself a uh, uh, summertime, summertime, uh, spiked ice cream adult situation so cheers to that i hope you guys enjoyed this review thank you for tuning in like comment share tell me what you think if you try this ice cream out 